This video describes how to add a single new meter to a facility, which is a process used by current subscribers of Managing Energy. Before we get started, I want to point out that new subscribers use a high volume provisioning process to perform the same operation as a batch for hundreds or thousands of meters. The manual process shown here is used if you have already been provisioned and need to add or edit a small number of meters. Managing Energy defines two categories of utility meters. The first category is physical meters, which are physical pieces of hardware which produce regular readings. The readings may be collected manually or electronically. This is what we normally think of as a meter. Physical meters may be owned and read by utility companies or may be internal submeters installed and read by the facility owner. The second category is virtual meters, for which the readings are calculated based on physical meters and or other virtual meters. A virtual meter can be thought of as a location where we wish we had a meter, perhaps to recover costs from an unmetered tenant or to allocate costs to an internal cost center. The periodic readings and costs are calculated based on other meters, rather than actually collected or invoiced by a utility company. Regardless of the type of meter you are defining, it is important to make sure that meter information is complete and accurate for future analysis. To add a new meter, ensure that you are on the Buildings and Meters module tab with a facility selected. We are going to add a meter to the Springfield General Hospital, so we now click the Add Utility Meter button in the work area. Details of all of the options on this screen are described in the user manual, so we won't get into too much detail here. Search in the manual for defining a meter for more information. In the Meter Name field, you need a unique name that is easily recognizable. For example, use the facility code and utility type, such as M01 ELEC1. Next, we have the meter type. It is currently set to non-interval, which are older style meters that are generally read manually and then reported through paper invoices. Interval meters are digital smart meters and often measure utility usage by the hour. Utility contains the predefined energy types. Included in footprint specifies whether you want this meter included in energy intensity, consumption totals, or emission calculations. The ability to exclude meters from the facility footprint is needed to avoid double counting virtual and submeters. Meters not included in the footprint appear as faded icons in the facility tree. The notes area allows you to enter any descriptive text you wish to add about the meter. Provided that you've defined accounts on the Utility Invoices module tab, the drop-down list will contain the list of accounts defined for the facility. This is how you associate an account to a meter. The reading group will be seen if you have a tariff defined for the account selected. It is a tariff component which incorporates the set of readings for a single meter within a utility invoice. If the utility provider associated with the account has utility invoice tariff components, such as consumption, demand, or other physical unit values associated, the meter components will appear here and allow the marginal rate and serves lighting fields to be set. The marginal rate is a cost per energy unit which is used internally to calculate financial savings from conservation opportunities. Serves Lighting tells Managing Energy to attribute savings from lighting retrofits to the meter component. Provided you have meters set up in the current facility and you are in the facility tree with the contacts set to the Buildings and Meters module tab, then an Edit Meter button will display in the work area. Clicking the Edit Meter button gives access to the same database fields as when you create a meter. This concludes our demonstration on how to create or edit a meter within Managing Energy. Please check out our other videos at our website at www.managingenergy.com.